Productions. The best cheap eats in Los Angeles. I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions, and in this video I'm going to tell you some of the best places to eat for cheap in LA. Number one, we're going to start with Grand Central Market. This is located in downtown Los Angeles. It is a collection of about 20 cheap and tasty food stalls. This place used to be pretty run down, but it's been upscaled recently. The food is all delicious. Maybe not all delicious, but there's a lot of delicious, and there's a lot that's cheap too. So check out Grand Central Market. You'll find something for you and anyone that you're likely with as well. To eat a little bit of history in downtown Los Angeles, check out Philippe's, the original. It is the original location that invented the French dip sandwich. Yes, the French dip sandwich is not from France, it is from Philippe's in Los Angeles. This place has been here since 1908, well in downtown LA since 1908. It's been in this location since 1950, and the inside of it looks just about like that. They've even got five payphones that actually still have operational payphones. They specialize in the French dip sandwich so you can get other meats. You can get a single dip, a double dip, or wet. That's how many times they dip the bread. Uh, if you're gonna get the beef dip, I suggest you get it with cheese, because uh, I think that's the tasty one. And uh, best of all, though, about this place is they have free parking. Free parking is pretty rare in downtown Los Angeles, or in most of LA in particular. One of my favorite places in LA for cheap and tasty Mexican food is King Taco. King Taco, you can get tacos for $1.59 each. Your choice of meat, carne asada, al pastor, lingua, pollo, uh, and probably even more that I didn't list and remember there. I also really like their burritos. They're about five bucks. They're nachos, you can get meat on it too, also about $5. King Taco has um, probably 30 or 40 locations across Los Angeles. I think the best location is in Glendale, right by the Brand Mall. Why? Because uh, it has like artwork inside, it's the cleanest and it's the nicest, but you'll find them scattered all over and the food is just as good wherever you go. Check it out, King Taco, the king of tacos. For some more upscale tacos, check out Guisados. They have about six locations through LA. This one is in downtown LA on Spring Street. Their taco is a little pricier than King Taco, about $2.75 each, but there's some pretty good braised meat tacos, particularly the mole tacos, which is kind of a Mexican chocolate combination. Another one of my favorite LA mini chains is called Lemonade. It's a modern take on a cafeteria. You basically go down, you pick what you want, they put, give it to you in little bowls, and you pay at the end. Some of my favorite things to get here is the brisket. They have a lot of these braises, and uh, the brisket has been stewing for hours, and it's nice and tender. I like the white truffle mac and cheese. Hmm. Delicious. And, uh, the pokey craze has made it here too. This is a uh, ahi tuna pokey with avocado, and it's even got some little mandarin oranges in it too. And of course, the name is Lemonade. They have lots of different types of lemonade. Uh, this is a coconut lavender lemonade. Mm, delightful. And uh, these little bowls, they range from six dollars $6 all the way down to a dollar fifty if you get the bowl of rice so it may be expensive to cheat that's all up to you for some of the best pastries and cuban sandwiches in la check out portos they have three locations glendale burbank and downey but be prepared to wait the food is so good that there are long lines out the door this location in glendale has two sides one that's the cafe you can get the cuban sandwiches and the second side that's the baked goods if you're coming to buy baked goods and you're like me and you stand in that long line you might leave with 50 or 60 dollars of pastries for you and all your friends another famous la institution for cheap eats been around since the 1930s is Pink's Hot Dogs. Famous for their chili dogs. It was opened by Mr. and Mrs. Pink and uh, you can get a chili dog, french fries, and a soda for about eight bucks. Their original location is in the Hollywood neighborhood, but they've recently opened one here at Universal Studios City Walk. My tip, come to this location at City Walk because there are no lines. The original location in Hollywood can be 30 to 60 minute lines, though some people say that's part of the appeal. And if you come, make sure to check out one of the chili dogs. They've also got other hot dogs with interesting celebrity names, since this is Hollywood after all. One of my favorite neighborhoods in LA for food is Little Tokyo. I like Japanese food, but one of the cheapest and best places to eat in Little Tokyo is at Suhiro Cafe. They have uh, lunch specials Monday through Friday, 11 to 3, $5.25. You get a main entree soup, rice, 
and salad. Check it out. On the lunch specials, uh, I didn't get that when I ate here filming this video. I had the katsu don, which is also super delicious. Highly recommend it. For another bit of classic Americana on Broadway and 7th, stop by Clifton's Cafeteria. Clifton's Cafeteria uh, has been here for quite a long time, and it is a place that Walt Disney was inspired by when he created Disneyland. The whole place is themed. Uh, there's lots of these um, stuffed animals, small animals, big animals, bears, uh, buffalo. Um, when you look at it from the outside, you wouldn't think anything special about Clifton's Cafeteria, but definitely come inside. It'll be a whole different world from downtown LA. The cafeteria that's in the back, the chefs are all wearing the white hats, done up very nicely, uh, certainly has a bit of the nostalgia. There's a carvery where they have fresh carved meats. They have a great dessert selection. It is not the cheapest. Uh, the carved food plus uh, like a potato and a vegetable will cost you about 15 bucks, but that's still pretty cheap for downtown LA. So make sure you check out Clifton's Cafeteria and feel a little bit of uh, what Disney felt, a sense of wonder when you walk in here. For some good coffee in downtown LA, check out Blue Bottle Coffee. They have a location right across from the Grand Central Market. They've also got one in the Arts District. I think it's pretty good coffee. It's not the cheapest, but pro tip, they have really clean bathrooms. Another place for a collection of tasty cheap eats in downtown LA is at the Taste Food Hall. This is inside the Figget 7th Mall in the basement level. It is right at Figueroa and 7th Street. It's more of a food court, but inside there's places like the Melt, Five Guys, Japanese food. But I think the thing to check out if you're not from LA is the Mendocino Farms. It's a sandwich place that's an LA original chain. Some pretty tasty sandwiches. And no video about cheap eats in LA would be complete without mentioning In-N-Out Burger. In-N-Out Burger is my favorite restaurant of all time anywhere. They have probably a hundred locations across LA. They started in LA. They're in kind of the southern, southwestern part of the US. They're famous for everything being uh, fresh, never frozen. Uh, you can go in and get a double cheeseburger, fries, and a drink for about $6.50. So that's a pretty good deal. Definitely check out In-N-Out Burger. If you want to know what I order, I get the Double Double, which is the double cheeseburger, no onions, but extra everything. That's extra lettuce, tomato spread, uh, regular fries and a drink. If you're adventuresome, check out your fries animal style. They'll take your fries, they'll put cheese on top of it, they'll put Thousand Island dressing, grilled onions, and they serve it with a fork. Their shakes are delicious as well. So if you come to California, you've never had In-N-Out Burger, and you like burgers, definitely eat at In-N-Out Burger. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more every weekend, then please subscribe. Or you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Links in the description below. Or you might enjoy watching some of my other videos. Click on this right here to watch some more, or click on the yellow ball to subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye.